Hi, for today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to get a message from a producer queue in the RapidMQ server using Avanco's AMQP adapter for OIC, and then publishing the message to a consumer queue on the RapidMQ server. The first thing we need to do is in order to deploy the adapter, it must be on an on-premise server using an OIC connectivity agent to connect to OIC. Next, in order to get the scenario to run, we need to create our connection for the scenario. We do this by going into our OIC instance, going under integrations and our connections. As you can see, we have the option to create one. However, I've already created one for this scenario right here. As we go into the connection, we can see the different connection properties. One thing I do want to note is that our connection type is AMQP 0.9.1. However, we do support two versions as well. As we go further down, we can see our username and password, the broker host, and then the broker port as well, and the virtual host, as you can see right here. So this is all needed to establish our connection to OIC and RabbitMQ for this scenario. Then, after establishing our connection, we can create our integration for this scenario. As you can see right here, we have our producer queue and our consumer queue with the simple message mapping in between. Now, if we go in, we can see the configuration to our producer queue. Let me just click through through the summary so we can get a basic overview of everything that's going on with this configuration. And as we can see right here, we have our queue that we defined in our RabbitMQ server, our connection mode and our polling interval and prefetch size. This means that every 30 seconds, it'll fetch 25 messages. As we scroll further down, we can also see the schema configuration for this scenario. So, as I'll be sending this XML message through, this is the schema for that scenario. As we scroll further down, we can also see our content conversion and batching configuration as well. Further, if we go into configuration for our consumer queue, we notice a couple differences. The one difference being the topic is our consumer instead of producer, as in the producer queue, and our delivery mode being persistent. We have the same schema, as well as the variable substitution, content conversion, and failed operation handling, if need be, for this scenario. Finally, the last thing we need to do is create the message mapping for this scenario in order to ensure our data is in the correct structure. As you can see, we kept it pretty simple, only using the account topic, mapping name to name, telephone to telephone, website to website, and external ID to external ID. The one thing I do want to note is that we map the content to the value of from our producer to our consumer. Now, after creating our integration, we want to run the integration to make sure it works. The first thing we want to do is open up our producer queue in RabbitMQ and attempt to publish a message. As I showed you the XML test payload before, here is where we want to publish the message. Now we'll go to publish the message and go into our message monitoring in OIC. As we can see, we have two messages that come through. However, if I go in and refresh, we'll see we now have three messages that have come through. As demonstrated, using Advanco's AMQ adapter, it's quick and easy to integrate with RabbitMQ and OIC.